Hey guys, I'm uh, just out walking a trail for the fun of it. Actually, this trail leads to the uh, trapper's cabin on my trap line. I don't use it because, I mean, my parents' place is so close. I don't really need to. Um, so far, the snow isn't sinking too much, but it is ankle deep. So, I thought I left that trap on that box. Not set, of course, because, I mean, season's been closed, but maybe I brought it home with me. We'll carry on. So, yeah, anyways, I'm going to walk the trail to the trapper's cabin, see what it looks like. Um, I brought the brush axe. Just in case there's a few trees in my way. I have a 330 Lynx Cubby right there. It didn't catch me anything though. And I'll have to come back and grab the can in the trap there on my way back out. Since next year, I'm going to hopefully have everything set up so that I'm more organized. Well, more organized and have open trails that I can trap along with... Uh, Choosing better locations for my traps or my sets, especially Martin and Fisher. I'll try and look for old, older bush, old growth. Apparently, there was a moose walking the trail. It's funny, I always see their tracks but never see them. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll uh, turn you off and I'll. See how close I get to the cabin, if I even go. Right now it's nice to pack down, but if I have to walk through soft snow and I'm sinking up to my knees, I'm not going to bother. So, I'll turn you off and we'll see how far I get. Alrighty. Okay, well, the snow's holding me up pretty good, so I may as well keep walking a little bit, see if I can't make it to the trapper's cabin to give you guys a show of that. Uh, trapping world. Asked me to make a little video for him. So, if I can get to it, that's what we'll do. Otherwise, I'll come make another video later on. But, so far, so good. Um, there aren't too many trees down in the trail. So, that's good. Nice poplar bush on that side. Poplar bush on that side. And this trail actually leads to a section of Tamarack Creek. So, a few trees down in the trail here, but they're all high enough that we can just scoot under them. And, uh, I'll probably come back with the chainsaw later and cut them. But, anyways, I'll, uh, Turn you off for now. So I got a little closer to the creek. Looks like there's a sloop on down in there. And uh, we'll check that out. I got some form of tracks on the trail. So that's cool. So yeah, we'll uh, turn you off for a little bit, carry on, and then when I get to the cabin, I'll turn you back on since it looks like I'll be able to make it all the way there. Okay. Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm just at this uh, beaver pond. There's another one up in there. Well, I guess the other half of this one. So, I'll actually have to go check that out one day. Uh, I'm just gonna carry on to the cabin. 
The hut is that mound right there. And there's water flowing at the crossover. So, we'll work our way up to there and then uh, see what's what. I'll just give you a show in here. I can see one hut in there for sure. But there's not a whole lot of poplar around here. There's the tag alders here, but that's about it. So I'm guessing there isn't a whole lot of food down there for them. And it's probably empty just like this one is. But, having said that, we'll carry on. I'll uh, clear off this dam so I can get across here and keep going. I'm almost at the cabin there now. Apparently the bunnies are still white. <laughs> I got one just up ahead of me. I'll just keep walking. Oh, he's gone. He went off that way. I didn't bring the gun with me because, well, oh, and there's a gross there, too. I don't know how well you can see him. <laughs> That's funny. Could have had both. <laughs> I'm almost at the... cabin there now. So we'll just uh, carry on. Zoom back out. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Bunny just ran across the trail here someplace. Went up in there. And that grouse is straight ahead of me. I'm not sure where he went, but there he goes. He just took off to someplace that way. So, that's cool. Like I said, we're coming up to the cabin there soon. Um, there's a few trees I'll have to come back with the chainsaw to clear out. And I just keep this open because my lead trapper uses the ca trapper's cabin for a uh, skinning shed while he's here. But, alrighty, I'll turn you off and carry on. Okay, so I made it to the cabin, and uh, there she is. It's not a very big one. Oh, maybe 10 or 12 feet by 10 or 12 feet. Uh, John's right there. So I'll give you a look in. It would appear my old one left a few things here, starting with his trailer. And a few uh, trap boxes, a rope, some firewood, some meshing there. See the other side, he's got a box there. He says he usually throws his lynx carcasses under there and picks one, or not lynx, uh, beaver carcasses under there and picks up a lynx. And then Tamarack Creek is just out in front of me here. So, we'll show you the inside. Uh, there's our tag that says this is for our trap line cabin. And you can see they used etulation for batten, which probably makes it friggin' uh, real nice. Oh, and there looks like there was one burlap spray foam. I guess over the years, people have been just adding and changing stuff. Big roll of cable, that's pretty cool. I didn't know that was here. One of his anchors. And uh, I think there was a couple more anchors over there for slide wire footholds. Oh, okay. So, here's the inside of the cabin. We've got two little bunk beds, a funnel trap, which I might actually bring with me for later. Either this year or next year. 
I'm guessing one of the other pallets, there the pallet that's out on the table was there for the bed. And then a couple of shelves. Not sure what's in the shelves. Some soap, lighter, candle and wax, bread buckets with stuff in there, bottles of water, not sure what else, plates, radio. Uh, deck of cards, elastic pants, <laughs> bunch of crap, Ooh. matches, another deck of cards, more crap, so yeah, that's our little, oh he left his axe here too, friggin brave guy, mind you I guess nobody comes back here, but that's our little chopper's cabin, our uh, stove has probably done its time. Bit of stove pipe. Yeah. It's not very big, but I mean it does the trick. Place to hang all your shit. Here's a list of... Somebody from uh, Niagara Falls, I guess, <coughs> makes a list. He's got Dan X times two times two. Not sure what that is, but anyways. So yeah, that's our awesome trapper's cabin. Needs a bit of work, probably needs a new floor, but I suppose if I wanted to come out here I could. I didn't seem to have any leaks in the roof, so that was nice. And then I'll, I'll uh, walk out here a little ways. It's got a couple Martin boxes here. There's one in there. Probably won't go too far. Is there supposed to be a channel right here someplace? That, that's Tamarack Creek. Keeps going quite a ways. Also goes up that way. And then goes around the bend here. So, yeah, I know, that's my Martin territory, way over there. And next year I'm hoping to have a trail. Well, even if I clean out the brush here far enough, I can cut across here someplace. This little shit's not bad and it freezes over in the winter anyways. And then have a trail going along the bank. Maybe up. Anyways, that's the plan. I want to start expanding myself out. Having areas that I can go into. So, yeah, I'll turn you off and then I'll turn you back on and do this in shorter clips. Alrighty. And, oh, that's different. He made an anchor with the trap holder anchored in. So, I mean, those two anchors, you know, are typical slide wire anchors but this one here has got the trap holder wired in two of his trap stands are here it would appear my old one had some fun <laughs> hung up an old beaver jaw the lower jaw so that's pretty cool and then there's a martin box there Actually a gorgeous location. Clear out some of the lower brush. And you got yourself a nice little location here. 
So, should actually start spending more time back out here cleaning this up. And But I want to get my trails opened up first and my old one wants to get rid of this cabin so he can build a brand new one. And we can only have one on the line, so this one's going to have to go if we want to build the new one. Which kind of sucks, but I guess that's the way it is. So yeah, we'll uh, carry on out of here and we'll see what's what elsewhere. There's a grouse in the bush. Right there. I don't know how well you can see, there he is. <laughs> Pow. Dinner. <laughs> we'll leave him be. Season's close. <laughs> That's three or four though that I saw today, so. That's good. Coombs population did well this year. I'm not surprised they're all over the friggin' place. But okay, I just thought I'd try that. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, so as I uh, walk out of here, just give you a little update. Muscat boats are pulled while I wait for the freaking creeks to completely open up. Plus, I have to go away for work for more than what I want to leave the floats out for without checking. So I pulled them all. Uh, hopefully, when I come back from work, I will be able to reset them and pick up a few muskrats. Otherwise, I think my season's almost over. So, but that's okay. It was a decent season. And uh, I picked up a bit of fur, so that's good. Yeah, we all know prices sucked, but whatever. It is what it is. I was just happy to get out and do some trapping. Um, so yeah, we'll carry on getting out of here. Head back to the truck, maybe go check out another trail. On a hole, we'll just carry on. <laughs> if I see anything interesting, I'll uh, turn you back on. But like I was saying, I think my season's pretty well done. I'll have to come through that little section behind me there and clean that out with the chainsaw. So, so yeah. Um, this summer, I'm going to really work my ass off to get at least two loops done just by connecting trails that are already done up and uh, I want at least the two done. If I can do a couple more, I will. If I don't have time, well, I don't have time, but I want to get at least those two done. So that next year I can have the big loops. Um, I also want to do a lot more scouting. And I want to move my Martin boxes. Build some Lynx cubbies. And uh, some snare pens. All that fun stuff. But that's the plan. We'll uh, get ourselves organized for next year and see what happens but <laughs> it was a good year I had fun and we'll see you next time I'm out doing whatever it might be a little bit before I post a video but it all depends on whether or not I can do some muskrat trapping in two weeks or if uh, it'll be trail cutting and moving stuff around so I mean where I put my Martin boxes this year wasn't the greatest place I don't want to 
actually take the time to find that old gross bush that Martins prefer. And I'll put nesting boxes in the cutover areas. So, alrighty, I'll turn you off. Carry on. And see what's what.